Okay guys, I got the rear end all set up. <clears throat> uh, notch the frame for the wheelie bars. So that is the way the car is going to sit. And it might sit a bit lower in the front once the engine's in. And maybe a little bit lower in the back too, once the batteries are in. But the only thing left to go on here is the batteries. And the uh, trunk lid, which is fiberglass, so that doesn't weigh much. So she's going to be pretty low. Wheelie bars are all welded now. Oh, nice and solid. You can see the car actually goes up when I step on the wheelie bar. So that all worked out good. Shock mounts, I had to relocate and build a new shock shock cross member there. I just got to rivet those panels in yet. But uh, windows are all done, except for the corner windows. I got to take those out, and, or I got to take front and rear window out yet. And, well, side windows too, paint the trim around. But, uh, so now I'll, uh, I get the dash in here and get working on the pedal stop and the wiring. So, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Give you guys an idea how light the car is. Check this out. I have the jack stands just behind the, on the frame there, just behind the door. So it's kind of pretty far back in the chassis. Sort of jacking it up. This is going up pretty easy. I can take it. And just, that's how light it is. No way down the front at all. Just lift it by hand. I don't know if you guys saw me do that. But I guess I gotta put some jack stands at the back there. Keep it from flipping over on me. It's light. Way lighter than it was. So just thought I'd show you guys. Yeah, I got the car up on stands and I'm bleeding the brakes. I have a pressure bleeder. It's a pot full of uh, brake fluid. And then uh, I have adapters for different master cylinders. So I've got the adapters on here, and then you just plug the hose into the master cylinder and pressurize the system. So now what I've done is, uh, because these are four piston calipers and it's got four bleeders, the caliper was mounted on the back there, and I bled the top to uh, pistons. So now I just uh, unbolted it, flipped it around. Because you want the bleeders to the top all the time when you're bleeding. So I flipped it around and uh, now I got the bottom bleeders up on the top. And uh, the fronts are done, so now I'm just doing the back. And uh, I'll put some pressure in here. Go to the back. So I can turn some light on here. Inside one. You can hear the air coming out of there. I think I'm blocking the light. There we go. Sorry, guys. So far. Okay, so I got three done, and I'll uh, go do the other side. Okay, the calipers are back where they're supposed to be, and uh, we've got a really good brake pedal. It's right up 
perfect. So that part is done. This is the kit I was talking about. It's got all the adapters for different uh, master cylinders. When you work alone like I do, uh, you almost have to have that because uh, it's very hard for somebody to pump brakes and especially when you do a complete system like this it just makes life so much easier. It's just uh, didn't take long at all and bled the whole brake system. So I'll get the dash in there get to work. Okay the brakes are bled. Uh, a little tip for you guys don't get brake fluid on fresh paint. Uh, the brake fluid was so clean I didn't see the spots and uh, it just I just noticed it now it eats it right away so I'll have to uh, touch that up a little bit but I got the uh, dummy engine in there plastic one and I put that intake manifold on so that I can uh, build a throttle stop for it or a gas pedal stop so I got the throttle linkage in there and uh, I'm hoping that's going to be in the right spot. I just kind of look down the distributor hole and get it positioned right. <clears throat> so now I've got I've got the gas pedal stop here and it's adjustable. I just used a threaded insert, drilled a hole in the tube, <clears throat> excuse me, and then welded it in there. And then it's got a locking nut on here that I can lock it down with. Just welded a washer to a bolt and that works good. So, so now I can adjust it up here to all <clears throat> where I want it. And then I can adjust the stop down here so that the throttle will only go so far. And I've also put in, uh, this is the uh, nitrous switch. Made a little bracket for it, welded it on the steering column there and it's just a micro switch that's activated with this little wire coming out of it so when the gas pedal goes down it uh, activates the switch kind of cool so that's about all I've done oh my back is killing me um, yeah that's about it for that one and uh, apparently my new rockers are on the way for the motor, so I'm going to get started on that pretty soon. Tear that down and have a peek. But uh, yeah, now I can put the dash in and uh, start doing some wiring. So, and then as soon as that's done, then uh, drop the motor and tranny in, measure for a drive shaft, and I should be able to fire it up. So I know it sounds like it's not much to do, but uh, there's still lots left to do here, so I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching.